Hi everybody, my name is John, and in this video we're going to connect an existing domain that we will purchase from Namecheap.com to our Shopify account, so that instead of having your visitors navigate to this long My Shopify URL, they can instead navigate directly to your customized domain name and not have to remember this entire URL the entire time. So how do we do this? And more importantly, why are we doing this instead of just buying the new domain within Shopify? Well, if you click on the Buy New Domain button and you enter your domain name, I'm just entering this as an example, you'll notice that you can purchase this domain for $14 a year. And this would be charged against your Shopify account. However, this is way too expensive. $14 a year for a domain name, especially a .com, is too much to spend. So I'm going to show you how you can get it for roughly about six to eight bucks a year. And it's just going to take you the 10 minutes that it'll take to go through this process. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use a different domain instead of wire website, just for the purpose of this tutorial. Of course, you can use whatever website that you'd like, but just to demonstrate this, I'm going to instead use wire.work, primarily because it's just super, super cheap. So I'm going to add this domain to my cart, and then I'm going to view the item, and then finally I will check out. This is free. This is a special offer. Looks like it's normally about seven bucks. I'm going to confirm my order. And then I'm going to click on pay now. Give it a couple seconds to process the order. And now you'll be saying this page that says the order has been completed. So now what you can do is click on the manage button. And what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this domain to our Shopify store. In order to do that, we need to go into the settings, and if you aren't on this page originally, if you've not just bought this domain, you have to go into your domain list and then click on the domain itself, and click on where it says Advanced DNS. Now, there's a lot of different options here. Don't get overwhelmed. It's gonna be really, really straightforward how to do this, and even if you're not using Namecheap, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but if you're not using Namecheap and you're using a different host, it's going to work the exact same way. What you're first going to do is find your CNAME record, and right now it's a www host where it says parkingpage.namecheap.com. If I double click on this, I can change this value to shops.myshopify.com. And I'll include these details within the description of this video as well if you want to reference this later on. Click on the green check mark to save your changes. Once you've changed the CNAME record, what we're going to do next is we're going to modify this URL redirect record and change it all the way to the top to an A record. We're going to keep the host the same and we're going to change the value to the Shopify IP address. The Shopify IP address is 23.227.38.65. You can keep the TTL the same and then click on the Save Changes button. So now that you have both of these records looking exactly like this, you can go back to Shopify and then go into your domain section. If you want to get here from the home page, go all the way down to your online store, and then click on domains, and then click on where it says connect existing domain. So we're going to enter the domain that we just purchased and then click on next. And now we're going to verify the connection because we've already done these instructions listed on this page. This might take a couple minutes to do, so don't be concerned. And once this connects, you'll have this nice message here, which says your domain wirework has successfully connected. It might take 24 hours for this to actually apply. Once your domain propagates, you'll be able to navigate directly to your newly added domain name and it will take you directly to your Shopify store. Few things off the bat. How do we make sure that this is our primary domain? In order to do so, we need to make sure that we have the name connected and it has this connected status under the primary domain section. You can change the primary domain by selecting the change primary domain button and then clicking either your Shopify managed domains or a third-party domain, aka triple W. 
I'm gonna keep it as my current primary domain, but if you need to change it back to your My Shopify domain for any reason, or maybe you have an additional domain that you're adding to an account, you can do so from this section here. So if you don't need to change anything, you can cancel this. And there you have it. You've connected your domain and you've saved yourself a couple bucks every single year in the process, just by spending the extra two or three minutes to go forward and do this on Namecheap instead of Shopify itself. If this video helped you at all, please be sure to use the link below to purchase your Namecheap domain name. It comes at no additional cost to you, and it really helps me out to make videos like this. If you have any questions, I do read each and every one of those comments below, so please feel free to leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to it with a response as soon as I can. Thanks, and I hope this helped. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.